Hello, and welcome to True Alaska. Another reality show about Alaska, except this one's really real. My name's Ethan Melski, and I invite you to join me on my travels. I experience True Alaska. earlier today I'm pretty slow but I've seen a couple sea lions seals otters eagles still in Seward trying to snag some fish I caught one this morning um, and that was about it. Not many people out here. Usually this is full. The run's almost done. But there's a sea lion right out here somewhere. It's just went on there, just as I hit record. Usually I don't want to record when there's a sea lion around. Usually that means there's fish. But this guy's just been swimming back and forth. He's looking right now, not hunting. Hope he pops up. <laughs> when I caught that fish earlier, just before that, he was kind of right in front of me. He popped up and he's mowing down on a fish like, ha ha, I got your fish, where's yours at? And then when they're right in front of you, you don't want to fish either because you might snag the sea, sea lion. Well, maybe he'll pop up another time. Well, it's day two of my Seward fishing trip. I got two uh, on the beach earlier today and then it really slowed down. I hadn't seen the sea lion in a couple hours, so I figured that was my cue to leave. I talked to a local. She said, yeah, I think I'm going to head to McDonald, which is here. On the, kind of the other side of the cove. They got like three channels that come out. Fish supposedly just get stacked up in here sometimes. I came here yesterday and I didn't catch anything. I also went out last night. The high tide was at uh, 1.30 or 2 last night. 2, I think. So I fished from about 10 to 1.30. Got nothing. There's a couple other people fishing, and they also got nothing. But they say tomorrow's going to be the hot day. It's supposed to be clear and a beautiful day instead of rainy like it always is. And supposedly the fish love that. So we'll see. been another long day. Pretty much fished from about 10 o'clock till uh, it's 12.30 now. Finally call it quits. I caught two towards the beginning and two towards the very end. Pretty slow middle. Don't get much better than this, boys. Well, it's about 1 o'clock, 1.07 in the morning. 
Got all my slabs all filleted up. Woo-wee. Got a couple in half there. Give away to my friends. Not most of my friends up here aren't actually from Alaska either, so not everybody gets a chance to eat some good Alaskan reds. I figured uh, not everybody likes salmon either, so they need to at least try a little piece. So there's four fish there. I got two in the cooler and one more back at home in the freezer. Finally starting to get some meat. It's a good feeling. Hit it again tomorrow and then it's back to Fairbanks. Back at the old McDonald Creek. Getting pretty good at this technique. Basically a robot now. Whip it in, jerk it hard, whip it again, jerk it hard. And I know it seems stupid, but I watched a guy catch like 24 of them down here last night, right in this spot. I came after him a little bit and I caught two. Right now everybody's out on the ocean, it's low tide. I never seen anybody do any good out there, so I figured I'd try this spot. The tide comes in all that way, all the way back to there. It's pretty wild. When it starts coming in, comes in hot. Well, hopefully we do good today. It's not raining for the first time ever that I've been in Seward. So it's looking promising. Flounder, that was it. Um, not very big ones in that either. So I came over to the beach. Nice pretty day, I got a perfect log to kick back and relax on. Eat a sandwich. Caught two over here, I just caught one not too long ago. The sea lion came by and I see him jumping. Run down there, bam, three casts later, got one. So that's pretty fun, we can fish like that. It's just about high tide, so it usually slows down and reaches high tide. Just before and just after, it's usually pretty alright. Hopefully we'll get my limit today. Once again, I forgot to show my catch, but four fish, one little one. One real nice one, a couple mediums. It's down here by the river, flaying them up. Get them all cleaned off, and the cooler. Not bad for half a day's worth of slapping. About to head out to the next spot. Hear that, ladies? They say ladies love a carrot eater. <laughs> well, been a pretty good trip here to Seward. Might be my last night. Might try it again in the morning, but I gotta be uh, tomorrow Sunday. Gotta be back to Fairbanks, but eight hours or so from here and I am tired I've hardly slept the last couple nights I just can't bring myself to do it because I keep thinking well this next tide's gonna be hitting hot it's gonna be hitting hot I meant to take a break today I got out I cleaned my fish I was gonna take a break and then I realized it's only two hours before low tide I gotta get out there which is a good thing I did so I'm back here to McDonald Creek fishing the channels again it's kind of fun earlier uh, just as the tide was getting pretty low fish started coming in and they were way out there and you see these little swirls here and there and there was about 12 of us just whip 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 I mean you want to wear safety glasses around that because it's pretty terrifying but you know everybody's having a good time there's people watching a little peanut gallery and pretty cool but I didn't catch anything so my philosophy is go to where the fish are, not where the people are. So I started wandering down to last night's hot spot, and I seen this guy catch one. Boom. And I was pretty far away. I keep on walking towards him, and boom, gets another one. I get up pretty close, and he says, yeah, you can have this hole if you want. Said, yeah, I cut my limit here last night, and I'm going to go check out another hole. Said, oh, oh, yeah. So he told me what to do, and... Within like three casts, boom, 
that one. And I fished a little more, fished a little more, and I seen one coming up, and I whipped it, whipped it, whipped it, whipped it, and missed them, and went back to that hole, and the fish had gone back to the hole, and bam, got another one. So, I'm up to four, six fish today. Oh, every day I'm getting two more, two more, and I got high hopes. It's exactly low tire, tide right now, so I'm gonna stick out another two, three hours, we'll see. See if they start hitting hot again once the tide starts coming in. But Seward, Alaska is not disappointing. It's been a lot of fun. And no rain today. Don't get much better than this. Especially with some Alaskan grown carrots. Just wish Greg Slamming Salmon was here. <laughs> well, this is worth getting on video. There's, man, can't see him. There's one. Um, over here, behind that seagull, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. At least seventeen eagles flying around. Bald eagles. Don't get to see that everywhere. It's, guess it don't really get much better than this. Unless, of course. It had been less than three hours since I caught a fish. <laughs> well, Seward. Man, I fished a lot of hours. I am beat. My body's torn up. My shoulder's in pain. My lower back's in pain. I got wet socks off the wazoo. It's been a trip. I got 12 fish in the cooler. There's only one day's limit. I fished about 15 hours for three days straight. Uh, but I'm happy, very happy. Glad I got to experience that. Glad I got some meat from the freezer. Uh, hopefully I'll get one more chance to do some salmon fishing this year. Next step, moose season. Actually sheep. The quest never ends for me. Well, here's the final total here. 12 fish. I ran out of bags at the end, so I had to freeze a couple hole, or put them in the cooler hole anyhow, but i seen some native guys doing it like that, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to have a couple whole ones and see what the heck I do with them. Time to Pinterest it up, yo. Don't get much better than that.